Today's video has kindly been sponsored by Redecor, but we'll get into that shortly. Good morning. Good morning. See, why are you saying good morning for, Mum? You already said good morning. I'm saying it twice, aren't I? Saying good morning twice, aren't I, Peg? <laughs> Grumpy faces. It's a very, very gloomy day. However, this vlog is going to be happy and cheerful. Good morning. I've got you balancing on a jar of Heinz baked beans. I'm going to show you actually. <laughs> this is my tripod. So, anybody who may think that you need all the fancy, finer things to be a YouTuber, you don't. You just need a nice large jar of beans. A fridge pack is perfect. And you get the hype that you need. How are you all? I hope that you're all well. I thought I would do a little vlog because I've got loads to show you, loads to share with you. When it comes to decorating, I love nothing more than styling things up, seeing how colours go together and all that stuff. Well, this part of the video has kindly been sponsored by Redecor. Redecor are a little front app on your phone or smartphone where you can create amazing little looks of rooms so this is where i'm up to right now if you can see it and in this i get to design let's just say for instance the color of the dresser i get to choose what color i want it whether i want it to be white pine a rustic cedar so you basically get to create everything in the app and then score points off how well you've decorated the room why i absolutely love this app is it's helping me to be able to put colours together and see what colours look like because obviously I love decorating and changing things up. But it's helping me to see what it looks like to put different colours together, different textures together, then share it in competitions and see if I win competitions on the way that I've created a certain room. The other good thing about it as well is you can get better. You can only get better at creating certain looks and using different textures and styles. It's been great for me as well as a distraction. You know, when you just want 20 minutes away from something where you don't want your mind to be focused on anything, this is, you basically just get lost in it. And it's a great escape from what's going on in the world. And it's nice to just de-stress and play on a game for 20 minutes where your mind has to concentrate on colours and textures and design in a room. It's a great way to stay creative and it's also a great way to bring out your competitive side because obviously you want to win competitions with the rooms that you do create. So trust me, I put a lot of effort into these because I'm like, I want to win, I want to come first. I don't mind if I come second or third, but I'd love to come first. I came first on one. Let's see if I can find it. Here's one where I came first. And it's my recent design of a bathroom. I'll screen record it and I'll insert it here for you to see, but I absolutely love it. And it was a great way of seeing how the textures and colours mix. And obviously, when I when it comes to creating my bathroom for real, I've, I already know what colours go like. I know I don't want a black floor because against the white of the room, the black just felt a little bit too stark for me. I've learned so much by using the Reader Core app and it's just great fun. I will leave all the details in the description box down below for you to click on the link and go and learn about Reader Core. I'm sure you're going to love it and want to play on it just like I do. I love to just sit down with a cup of tea, go onto the app, get creative, get away from my thoughts for half an hour and just start designing rooms. Absolutely love it. So thank you Redecor for sponsoring this part of today's video. So yeah, when I'm not decorating my house for real, I'm on Redecor decorating little rooms and I absolutely love it. It's absolutely great, great fun and great to be creative and just get lost in something different. I'm thinking today I might go to Ikea because there's a few things that I need. I've got the new doors getting fitted tomorrow. So I need to take a trip to B&Q to get the little... Lee's told me what they're called and I can't even think now. They won't go inside the door where the door handle goes, but my die has arrived for the doors and I'm like, hmm, shall I start staining them today? 
you may remember in one of my previous vlogs it might have been the vlog before my last one which was Wednesday Wednesday last Sunday's vlog it was where I spoke about the product that I'd purchased online which is a cruelty free animal safe water based completely safe stain and I can't wait to use it and the company has been unbelievably supportive and given me a world of knowledge for staining the doors I know this may be boring to some of you who are like staining doors I'm staining my doors black and I want to be able to see the grain in the doors so I'm so tempted to get stuck into it but the one thing that they advised was to get a decent brush so I've bought one brush for getting into the grooves because obviously we've purchased cottage doors similar to the ones we've got upstairs only there's no split panel and Peg snoring I think she just snores when she hears my voice you know because she's been quiet all morning and the minute I start talking she starts snoring very really loud so yeah I've got a brush anyway to get into the grooves for to get into the grooves but I need a good quality brush to be able to stain the doors and then varnish them and then put like a wax that you rub in to get that lovely sheen so excited to get them done so i'll show you that as well and look what i treated myself to i treated myself to an asop hand wash it was very expensive and uh, i have to admit i'm not really a lover of the smell but it's only because it's mandarin rind and when i wash my hands with it also i can smell as oranges and i didn't even check but it's rosemary leaf cedar atlas and mandarin rind and it literally does just smell of oranges not one of my favorite smells but really really happy with that and the most important thing that i wanted to speak about the minute i picked the camera up the living room's changed again the oxford stone so last vlog that you've seen on sunday may have even possibly been wednesday's vlog too you will have seen that the walls were farrow and ball oxford stone which have been mixed by valspar i purchased all my paints from valspar it's been around five years since I've actually purchased Farrow and Ball paints. I just like Valspar and I love the quality. It's not too expensive. I have been offered to work with a brand on YouTube for um, paints, but I wouldn't work with it. I change the paints too often to commit to wanting to work with a brand. Don't get me wrong, if Valspar said, Tony, we would love to work with you, I'd be like, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. But other than that, no, I, I can't really work with any paint brands because I change my paint that often. But it's changed again, and I'm going to tell you why. The paint just wasn't sitting right with me. It looked lovely. Don't get me wrong, it was a gorgeous colour. It just wasn't right for my flooring, as you may have seen in this vlog. I'm not too sure where I'm up to with filming, but you may have seen in this vlog where I point out that against Fred on the floor, the floors look very pink. I don't wanna start repeating myself, so I'm just gonna bypass that and say that I've changed it. I've put ammonite onto the walls, which was what I bought previously, which was too gray. It's like a putty color almost, but I just see a very cool tone. There's no warmth to it at all. So I then hummed and hard. I put ammonite over because I needed to lighten it back up, ready to put a paler cream color over it and the ammonite looks absolutely gorgeous i'm going to show you now but that's not going to be staying it's going to change to skimming stone so i went back to being cute not yesterday the day before and i had skimming stone mixed i had a little look at the colors i was to and throwing between skimming stone and blackened maybe but i feel like blackened was a little bit too white when the room is already white so rather than me standing here waffling on i'm going to show you so here's where we're up to it's now got farrow and ball ammonite in all of the alcoves which is absolutely beautiful i'm thinking i might actually put this in the hall stairs and landing when it's being replastered because it's such a nice gray it's very similar to the gray that's in my office which is Dulux Polished Pebble. Very, very similar, only this is a little bit cooler. The one in my office has maybe got a little bit more blue to it. 
I also painted my little H&M rock in Ammonite just to see what it'd go like. And I have to admit, I painted Fred in it as well. I just had one of them moments where I was like, you know what? Just do it. I need to speak to Matalan over this orchid. I'll link it down below for anybody who may want it. But it's arrived through the post and it's got quite large cracks in the bowl. So there's a crack that side and there is a crack right through that side and it's just about ready to split so i need to speak so we need to speak to matalan about that but this is where we're up to i think skim and stone is very similar to the color of my shell so it's got a little tiny bit of warmth but not too much switch this off because we don't want to be watching football so the ammonite if you're thinking you may want to colour grey, then I highly recommend Valspar's mix of Ammonite. It is beautiful. And then me and Lee got busy on Wednesday or Thursday and hung the mirror, <laughs> which I absolutely love. This is just a gorgeous mirror. It was so easy for us to hang and I think it just complements the room perfectly, especially with the light having black in it and the table as well. I originally purchased the orchid for in the middle, but I think with the orchid being here, it was a little bit too much, but so happy, so happy with this mirror. I think it looks lovely. So yeah, the ammonite is not gonna be staying and how amazing does the seagrass vase look with the ammonite so i'm thinking i'm going to keep that for the hall pop the ammonite in the hall stairs and landing when it's all decorated and it will look unbelievable but yeah that's where we're up to i have had skim and stone mixed which i'll show you now so we went back to b and q and got the hinges that we need for the doors and the sandpaper and i also had skim and stone mixed so it's just a custom colour, it doesn't say anything, but I got the V500 blend, which again, oh, I have brushed me, it just doesn't look like I have. Um, yeah, I got the V500 blend, which is washable and wipeable, and it's the interior mat. So that, so soon enough, the walls are gonna change again. I've got a heap of, retains that i need to make to asos which is the stripy shirt which you would have seen have you seen it <laughs> it might actually be in today's vlog i still haven't got to to grips with how you vlog properly but i'm now going to show you wood stain for the new doors now pop you back on me fridge pack of beans and i'll be right back it's from a company called little phase they do all different types of stains and it's all completely safe. So even if my dogs brush past this, it can't harm them at all. I did order a big one because I got five liters because I'm wanting a very deep black, not gray black, I'm wanting black black. So I'm hoping about three or four coats of this on each door will be perfect. So I got black ebony and it's a water stain and it makes your wood look good it's a water-based formula that penetrates the wood to achieve a dense nearly black or new old timber i.e furniture doors skating boards architraves mold and floors for hard and soft wood it's water-based no smell easy brush clean user-friendly non-toxic and quick drying perfect and then i ordered a a little phase great for seal and chalk paint extra strong gloss it's a water-based finish now the reason why i chose gloss is because when i was speaking to amy the this company honestly this isn't an advert or sponsored i bought and paid for my items i will tell you exactly how much they cost me this company is unbelievable they had no idea that i was going to speak about their products or anything like that but they were so helpful. Even my first message before I purchased, they were so helpful telling me what I needed and they give me a breakdown. So there is a matte varnish, a satin varnish and a gloss varnish. I chose the gloss varnish because the sheen is 70%. Now that means that it's not like glossy, glossy, but when I put the wax on, 
that's when I'll get that lovely sheen on the door and it'll bring all the grain out perfectly. So I was advised by the company to go with this on top of the stain and I just can't wait, I can't wait to get started. Again, it's non-yellowing, quick drying and ideal for doors and tabletops. I'm actually going to see what this is like and then I may recommend this to our Mel for her kitchen. You would have seen last week I shared a kitchen makeover of our Mel's kitchen where we painted it grey. Looks absolutely gorgeous. This would make the perfect sealant because it can go over chalk paint or any paint. Perfect. You get a little printout letter which says a wood finishing products and it's basically an introduction to using water based dyes, how to apply the dye, it gives you a full thing. They've got LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. The, their customer service is second to none. Honestly, it's second to none. And I bought 2.5 litres of the extra strong varnish and I bought five litres of the black ebony dye and it cost me um, £76.11, pence, which was absolutely brilliant. I did get a discount and the discount on the website where it's buy any of our water-based wood dyes and get 10% off any oil varnish or wax polish. So I did make a saving of £4.79 off my varnish by purchasing. There's no personal details on there, is it? Yeah, there's my address. So <laughs> I'm not going to put that in there. But yeah, I paid £76.11. pence, And hopefully I get to share with you the amazing results of using this product. So we might do one today. I'll see how I feel. Lee was saying, you know, I should do that. I said, no, I want to do it. I want to do it. Just let me do it. So he's saying, well, maybe we should get a piece of wood and you just have a little try on a piece of wood. And I was like, well, it would have to be a piece of oak because the doors are oak. And if I was to paint onto, I don't know, pine or a different type of wood, the finish would probably be different. But I'm just going to paint it on the doors. This is my second glass of water and really I need to fill my flask up and start using that so I can keep a tally on how much water I'm drinking, but I'm drinking plenty of water. But right now I'm going to feed the dogs. I might actually take them out before I do anything. Yeah, I'm going to take the dogs out. We walk the dogs together because obviously I've got three and the, here's the difference. When you're walking just one little dog, they're lovely, they're well behaved and you know, sometimes they can walk off lead. When you're walking a pack of dogs, it's very different. So you will never see me walking all three of my dogs on my own because they're a pack and they come and they become fiercely protective of each other. And because my dogs are very little dogs, they have little dog syndrome. So they say they see big dogs and bark, 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 yap, yap get really cheeky, start barking the little heads off and <laughs> it's hard to control three dogs as a pack. So me and Lee walking together. Big Lee is just in the shower at the moment. So I think I'm going to make us some, I think today we're going to have scrambled egg beans on thins for breakfast. Then we will go and walk the dogs and then we will probably go to Ikea. I need to go and get some wicker baskets. I need a, a new laundry basket and yeah, I'm going to bring these along with me. That was a hefty queue to get into Ikea and I'm not queuing up. It's not even Monday, what day is it? It's, I can't even see what day it is on my walk. It's Thursday, Thursday. And I am definitely not about to start queuing to go into Ikea. I wouldn't mind, it's really early as well. It's 11.30. So yeah, we're gonna nip to next anyway. Go and have a little look in there, see if I can get this black vase. And I'm a little bit disappointed because it looked like a Sunday morning. It literally looked like a Sunday morning. Uh, in fact, it didn't. It looked like the next sale at Ikea. And the shops have been open now for weeks. Is it weeks? It is weeks, isn't it? I think they opened on the 12th of April. It's been weeks because we're now in May. So I've no idea why the queue's like that. But I know why the queue's like that. Because everybody has been videoing. Come shop with me at Ikea. Come shopping with me to Ikea. Here's what I bought from Ikea. So everybody's gone shopping. And oh, it looks the same here. Looks round, doesn't it? So I'm now going to go into next. Have a little look. See if I can get this vase. And if there's anything good, I'll bring it out my bag and let you have a little look.
I'm wondering if they've got any hydrangea bushes. I want like a blue, like that colour blue at the back there. And white, but just can't seem to find any anyway. These are gorgeous. No joy, they've got no hydrangeas. That is actually what we need for the grass there, isn't it? But you know what, I'm sure you can get them in Poundland for about a pound and that is so flimsy. I don't think I'd pay £12.45 and I know I can get one cheaper. Pots are gorgeous though, so if you need pots, next has got loads. They're gorgeous, aren't they? See, I'd put hydrangea and something like that in the garden and that's only £25. Lovely, and that one's 30 They are gorgeous then. An animal feeder but it's like a little table and benches she put all the bird food on there oh it's so cute this is Lee's creation this little table with his plant seriously you love them little plants don't you is that mean you It's making me want to buy it. It's that cute. You got the boy and the girl. So this is Lee and this is me. Wait. This is the vase that I'm looking for, but it's taller. It's not little like that. It's actually a tall vase. I think it's about £30 maybe or £32. That's it in yellow, but I want the black and I don't think they've got it. 
And it's a gorgeous one as well. By the looks of it, they've only got that one and I don't want the small one. Do you know what? Watch him say now. Couldn't we put our um, virgin box and everything into that? The virgin box into that? And like have it like nice rather than it just standing there. And the DVD hard drive for the hard drive for the. Sorry? See, I'd have put our virgin box in that or our hard drive for the CCTV. Because it just looks nicer than just like a black box on the floor. And I had to put a hole in like the underneath or the back of it so it's just against the wall. And you can't even see it, but Lee's saying now because it'll go on fire. Look at these dog bowls. Like those silver hammers ones. They lovely. Heavy though. They do the biscuit bowl to match. Twelve pound. How cute is that? Sixteen pound. They've got pom poms on it. The nicest little doormat ever. Tie backs for curtains. They do, they do mm -hmm. We're back from Ikea, as you've just seen, it was a bit of a fail, but this is our lunch today. We've got ham, boiled eggs, and a nice salad with a little tiny sprinkle of cheese. You're allowed 40 grams on Slim and Will, but we don't have 40 grams. We literally just have a tiny sprinkle for taste, but that's our lunch today. I'm sitting here about to start editing, and can you see the little puffs of smoke coming off my um, wax? Burner. That's obviously the vapour and the fragrance, which is Armani C. But that's obviously the fragrance being omitted into the air, being, I don't know, transcended into the air. Can you see it? I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know whether it's because the sun's coming through the skylights. But I think that's unbelievable that you can actually see the vapour. And I've just had a little smell. And it smells unbelievable of Armani C. So that's how the wax, it's called something, and I can't think what it is off the top of my head, but that is the carrier basically to push out the fragrance. But that's all the fragrance going into the air. Unbelievable. I actually put a wash on the line before we left, and all of that has dried. They're still a little bit damp, so I'll put them on the maiden. And these have arrived. I ordered these online, just little, maybe like a mum fit jean, but gorgeous. So I'll have to try them on. And if they're nice, I will share them with you. I've got a cream colour and a light denim colour because they're nice and summery. And I've got no jeans like this at all. And something else I also got, which I've never had before. Well, I say I've never had one before. I did have one years and years and years ago. It's one of these that um, like drain your dishes. Well, here's the problem. My sink slopes so that you don't use one of these and you don't leave all dishes on the draining board, but we do have the dishwasher. We just don't use it because it's just as quick to rinse them through, isn't it, and use them, but I love this. I got it from done elm and they've done it in white or grey and this can all come off and be washed separately can actually go underneath it so i'll show you it can go underneath it like that so it drains the water into the tray rather than onto the draining board or it can actually drain in your sink this has been very much like a daily vlog and i know that i've probably just been in this one spot apart from when we went to ikea and next i had to think then we didn't even get into ikea but i hope you enjoyed having a little look around next and seeing the things that we had and that's about it don't forget to check out the reader core app which i'll leave in the description box down below have a little look you will really enjoy it and it's great to just escape and be creative 
oh my gosh, they're giant hailstones. I got the washing off the line just in time. So I'm gonna go. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much to Media Core for sponsoring today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.